In this video, I'm going to share with you what kind of job growth the field of computer engineering is experiencing. We will go over the past 20 years, the five metro areas that have the greatest number of opportunities for computer engineers, and at the end of the video, we will compare the number of jobs computer engineering has with some of the other engineering fields. Coming up. Hey everybody, Stephen Hack here, and this is Career Watch, where we cover career trends. If you end up enjoying this video, you can support us by subscribing. Computer engineers research, design, develop, and test computer systems and components such as processors, circuit boards, memory devices, and routers. Computer engineers ensure that computer hardware components work together with the latest software. Often, computer engineers work alongside software developers. Let's get into the job statistics. In the year 1999, there were 60,420 computer engineering jobs. By the year 2018, the number of computer engineering jobs had risen to 60,750 jobs. You read that right. There was a gain of 330 computer engineering jobs over a period of 20 years. And those 20 years have been a roller coaster ride for computer engineers. From 1999 to 2007, there was a gain of almost 20,000 jobs. Then the 2008 recession hit. Computer engineers lost almost 15,000 jobs. The jobs rebounded, and then they started dipping again. From 2012 to 2018, computer engineers lost almost 20,000 jobs, returning to where they were in 1999. Fortunately, the government doesn't think this will continue. The government predicts a 6% growth in jobs from 2018 to 2028, which is about as fast as the average occupation. Another thing to consider is the unemployment rate of computer engineers over the past 20 years. Recently, unemployment for computer engineers has spiked to over 5% in 2018. This is above the national unemployment rate, which is 3.7% at the filming of this video. So those are the national job numbers for computer engineers. Because of this, it is extremely important that computer engineers live in metro areas that have the greatest number of opportunities. This map shows where the jobs are for computer engineers. Notice that there are no jobs in South North Dakota, Maine, New Mexico. The majority of the jobs are in a handful of states and metro areas. So these are the top five metro areas that have the greatest number of opportunities for computer engineers. Number five is the San Diego metro area with over 2,000 jobs, pretty high average pay at $134,000 per year, and a fairly high cost of living. The fourth best metro area for computer engineering opportunities is the Washington DC metro area. It has over 2,600 jobs. The pay is far above average, but it does have a pretty high cost of living. The third best metro area for computer engineering is the San Francisco metro area with over 3,600 jobs. The pay is above average, but the cost of living is even above Washington DC. The second best metro area for computer engineering is the Los Angeles metro area with over 3,700 jobs. The pay is a little above average, but the cost of living is below DC and San Francisco. And finally, the greatest place for computer engineering, no surprise here, it's the San Jose metro area with over 8,000 jobs, a very high pay, and the cost of living is slightly above Los Angeles. So those are the top five metro areas for computer engineering opportunities across the United States. Finally, let's compare computer engineering with some of the other engineering fields. The Bureau of Labor Statistics splits engineering into 17 different fields. Computer engineering is in seventh place for total number of jobs. There are more jobs in civil, industrial, mechanical, aerospace, electrical, and electronics engineering. Are you interested in becoming a computer engineer? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, you can support us by subscribing, and I will see you next time.